Hi, I'm here with Ken Wilson Max, author of our series Children Music Life, including the books The Drum and The Flute. Hi, Hello. Ken. Hi. Can you tell us a bit about your series Children Music Life? Um, the series is designed to introduce children to uh, music in the most uh, base and sort of deep way. Um, we're not offering music lessons, we're, not offering, we're just offering the chance for, for them to experience music as it feels um, and let them build it from there so they can appreciate it and how it makes them feel. Mm -hmm. Great! And uh, why did you choose the flute as the next instrument in the series? Well, we wanted to move away from, uh, well, the, the drum, the flute um, are the kind of the most original instruments as I, as I see it. So with the drum, you know, you're really sort of limiting your heartbeat or the passing of time. And with the flute, you're able to express yourself uh, in terms of, you know, if, if you can imagine an early, early man would have been, uh, you know, learning how to blow this piece of reed or, or whatever it was. Um, it, it, they're very, very basic, basic instruments, but they have such a wealth of expression um, that it, it was a natural follow, follow on. What do you think young children gain from learning about music? I think, as in the case of my own daughter, um, her music experience and her music uh, education has meant that she's uh, much more focused when it comes to the other schoolwork, for instance, if that's a practical way. Mm -hmm. um, but also she is able to, or I think all children that pl play music, uh, you can see when they appreciate it and they appreciate a wide range of things. It does open the mind in a way that uh, not being musical or not listening to music doesn't. Mm. How do you feel about the amazing illustrations by Katal Vanka? Well, Katal is sort of my hero in that way. Um, when I first came up with these books, ideas, uh, because I illustrate myself, I had done the whole thing on my own. And I was introduced to Katal through a friend, a mutual friend. And when I saw her work, um, I just felt that actually she captured uh, Africa in a way that I would have loved to have captured Africa. Um, so it led to something. It, it, she is, I think, because of her influence and seeing her style, it led me into thinking about instruments and the sort of basic rhythms of life and so on and so forth. So I really, I love her work. I want to keep working with her forever. Great. <laughs> um, and what's the best way, in your opinion, for children and parents to enjoy the book together? To not be shy, to make a fool of yourself, <laughs> uh, to jump in. For parents, it's like become a child again. For these few minutes, they're short books. Um, there's no one looking. You can go for it. You can really enjoy yourself, and that's the best way to enjoy these. Uh, the more you play it out, the more you act it out, the better the book becomes. The more involved your children are, and uh, you know it's just a fantastic thing. Every time I read them and get more into them, um, I love it more. Fantastic. Thank you.